view of the obvious fact that the telecom consumer is key, the Nigerian Communications Commission NCC has once again demonstrated its capacity and capability as the regulator saddled with the responsibility of regulating the telecom industry by organizing the first conference of African Telecom Regulators on Consumers Affair, CATO 2013, with the team harnessing regulatory policies to protect telecoms consumers in Africa. It is quite noticeable that since the deregulation of the industry in Nigeria, the telecom landscape has so much changed that everyone has become a stakeholder, one way or the other. The revelation brought a transformation of the telecom industry in such a way as to make it the frontline industry that makes the most profound impact on the national economy. The chairman of the commission, Mr. Peter Ego, in his welcome address, stressed that the conference is timely since the deregulation of the telecom sector in 2001 in Nigeria may contribute positively to other African countries. Let me hasten to welcome you to our dear country, Nigeria, for this first conference of African Telecom Regulators on Consumer Affairs. This is a conference with a difference in terms of its focus, which touches on all issues affecting subscribers to telecom services across the continent of Africa. The keynote address delivered by the EVC of the NCC, Dr. Eugene Jua, who was represented by a commissioner in NCC, Ikechuku Itani, outlined some areas of interest which they as regulators have to grapple with. As regulators, we have our job cut out for us by the various and living laws and acts and expectations from the various stakeholders which are overwhelming. I'm inclined to think that the theme presupposes the perishable position of the consumers who must be protected from market dangers. The Communication Technology Minister, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary, highlighted some of the key areas of concern to the Ministry. As the world moves more and more towards an interactive environment, as in the global village, driven by information and communication technologies, governments all over the world, including Africa, are more than ready to design policies that will benefit consumers in the ICT sector. Governments must formulate and implement policies that have as main focus and purpose the safeguarding of interest of the telecom consumers. That is, they must come up with appropriate policies that protect the interests of these consumers. There is no denying the fact that the telecom industry remains one of the most vibrant and dynamic sectors globally with new prospects and challenges. African countries should therefore have in place adequate regulatory framework and institutions that would efficiently put in place effective mechanisms to implement consumer-friendly policies. A consumer in Nigeria is not different from a consumer in South Africa, a consumer in Kenya, or a consumer in Ghana. All consumers face uh, the same kinds of issues, be it issue of quality of service, issue of customer care, and all of that. So, we believe at this forum uh, that various country experiences will be shared. Uh, we see how we can harness all of those experiences to see uh, what each country takes away from here uh, in going to maybe uh, implement um, policies, uh, direction that probably would uh, ensure that uh, consumers in their respective uh, nation states get um, value for money for services.